Hi everyone, I'm Abby. Welcome to day seven of the 15 day songwriting challenge. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to write melodies and I'm gonna show you some common things that you'll see in melodies as well as some guidelines to help you with your writing. So if you're new here, please subscribe and download the free template in the description. Also, if you're a patron, then you can download the extra templates and resources over there as well. So there are some common places to start your melody in terms of pitches. If you're in the key of C major, a really natural place to start is on C, and that's because the whole key is centered around that note. And then there are common places to end the melody as well, depending on what you wanna do. So if you want the melody to sound like it's gonna continue, then you wanna end on a note that's not found in the C major chord. So you wanna avoid the pitches C, E, and G, and instead end on a note like D, F, a or B. So here is a short little melody that starts on C and ends on D. So it's going to sound like it wants to continue. So here's what it sounds like. Na, da, da, da. So it sounds like it hasn't quite finished yet. If we do want the melody to sound like it's finished, then we want to return to a note like C. So here's the same melody, except instead of ending on D, we're gonna end on C. So here's what it sounds like. Da, 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 da. So now this time we've returned to C and it sounds like the melody is over. So if we put these two melodies together, then we have kind of a question and answer type of format. The first melody poses the question and then the second melody answers it. So here's what they sound like together. Da, 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 da. And this is a really common way to construct melodies with this kind of parallel type of phrasing. And that's because there's repetition built into this melody. These melodies are almost the same except for the last note. And if you have repetition in your melodies, then that makes them more memorable right off the bat. So oftentimes in songs, you'll see sections that have melodies repeated throughout them, but oftentimes the endings of those melodies are just slightly different. So now let's talk about which notes you wanna put in between your starting note and your ending note. So usually vocal melodies are going to be constructed of notes that are close together. So here are some pitches below. We have da 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 da. These notes are all close together. They're all only one step away from the previous note. You can also skip a note and then we have da da da. And these notes are also considered to be close together. So oftentimes you're gonna hear melodies that are made up of notes that are right next to each other or notes that only skip one note in between. So here's a little melody as an example. Da, 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 da. You might recognize what it is. <laughs> and this melody is made up mostly of those notes that are close together and it only has one jump where you skip one note. And it's really natural for the voice to sing this kind of melody because of the closeness of those notes. It's also common to see repeated notes in melodies and especially common in pop music where sometimes you have only one note melodies. So here's an example of a one note melody in pop music. Da 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 da. If you know what it is, put it in the comments. It's really popular. <laughs> And oftentimes these melodies are constructed of repeated notes, notes that are close together, or skipping one note. So here's a little bit more of that melody. Da -da 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 -da. So in the beginning, we just have that repeated note. Da -da 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 -da. And then we go, da -da. we go up by step in that melody. So you can also use leaps in your melodies, and leaps are considered to be anything larger than two notes apart. So here are some examples of leaps. Da, 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 da. So all of these notes are more 
than two notes apart from each other. So leaps are used more for important moments in the song and after you use a leap, you usually go back to those notes that are close together. So here's an example of a melody that uses a leap. Da 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 So if you know this song, you know that that leap comes when the chorus enters and it's a really dramatic moment. So singing lots of leaps in a row is something that's not very natural for the voice. I'm going to try to do it for you right now for an example. Da 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 There might have been some notes that were close together in there, but you can hear how it sounds kind of like jumpy, kind of goes all over the place, and it's also not very memorable of a melody. Like it might be kind of hard for you to sing that back if I asked you to. So just keep that in mind that stepwise motion is more natural for the voice and also it makes your melodies more memorable as well. So when I write melodies, I usually just improvise with my voice and see if I come up with something that I like. And when you write melodies, I recommend that you sing as well, even if you're not really much of a singer. And that's because all of these guidelines that I just showed to you are based on what people naturally do already. So it's not like we came up with the rules and then wrote the singing around it. People came up with their melodies and then rules were developed based on what people were already writing. So if you sing your melodies, then you're naturally going to come up with something that is singable. <laughs> so your assignment for today is to write two melodies without lyrics, just focus on the melody part. The first melody will be made up of only those notes that are close together. And then your second melody will include one leap and then notes that are close together. If you want extra homework, you can turn both of these melodies into that question and answer type of format where you write the one melody that doesn't feel complete and then repeat the melody with an ending that does feel complete. So if you can write in standard notation, please be sure to write down these melodies. And if not, then write down the note names of what you're using and be sure to record whatever you come up with or else you will probably forget it. <laughs> you can also download the free template below to help you with your writing. And if you're on Patreon, you can download the extra templates and resources there as well. Let us know in the comments how it goes with your melody and please like the video and subscribe. Tomorrow we're gonna be talking about how to put your lyrics to music. So I will see you then. Bye!